Welcome to Easy Learning. A simple way to understand the basics of physics. Part 1. Units and Measurements. Physics is basically a science of measurements. Advances in physics often enable advances in new technologies. For example, advances in the understanding of electromagnetism led directly to the development of new products that have dramatically transformed modern day society, such as television, computers, mobiles and domestic appliances. A physical quantity is a physical property of a phenomenon, body or substance that can be quantified by measurement. That is, a physical quantity is a quantity in physics that can be measured. Examples of physical quantities are mass, length, time, temperature, electric current, light intensity, force, velocity, density etc. For the measurement of any physical quantity, we choose a constant quantity as a standard. We compare this standard quantity with the given physical quantity to find the number, which expresses how many times a standard quantity is contained in a physical quantity. The standard quantity, constant quantity, used for comparison is called unit. Units are of two types. First fundamental units, the units, which can be neither derived from one another nor resolved, split, into anything more basic are called fundamental units. Units of physical quantities, length, mass, time temperature, luminous intensity, electric charge and electric current are examples of fundamental units. Second derived units, any unit which can be obtained by the combination of fundamental units, is called derived unit. Example, meter per second is the derived unit for physical quantity, velocity. In mechanics, derived units can be obtained from fundamental units of mass, length and time. Measurement is the comparison of an unknown quantity with a known standard quantity, constant quantity, or unit. Example, for measuring length, we use a meter scale as a standard. On measurement, if we find that length is 5 times the standard meter scale, then the length is 5 meters. Here, 5 is the magnitude of length and meter is the unit of the physical quantity. Therefore, physical quantity equals magnitude times unit. Let us learn now, guidelines for writing units. First full name of the unit is always written with lower initial letter. Second the symbol for a unit which is not derived from a proper name is written in lower letter and the symbol for a unit which is named in the honor of a scientist is written with initial capital letter. Third for compound unit obtained by multiplying units is written after putting a dot or hyphen between the individual units or leaving space between the individual units. Fourth for compound unit obtained by dividing units is written by using negative powers. Fifth the unit in short form is never written in plural. Let us learn now, system of units. The fundamental units of length, mass and time taken together form a system of units. For measuring various physical quantities following systems are commonly adopted. CGS system. In this system C stands for centimeter, length. G stands for gram, mass, and S stands for seconds, time. This system is generally adopted for smaller measurements of mass, length and time, MKS system. In this system M stands for meter, length, K stands for kilogram, mass, and S stands for seconds, time. This system is generally adopted for larger measurements. SI system, standard international system, in this system the units of length, mass and time are same as that of MKS system. However, it is an enlarged system encompassing all fundamental units. The basic set from which all other SI units can be derived are given below. Let us understand the definition of one of the MKS unit that is, kilogram. The standard kilogram is the mass of a cylinder, made from platinum iridium alloy at zero degree Celsius kept at Sevres, in International Bureau of Weights and Measures near Paris. Definition, when a force of 1 Newton produces an acceleration of 1.00 meter per second square in a body, then the mass of body is said to be 1 kilogram. For practical purposes the accurate copies of mass are prepared by comparing it with standard kilogram in Sevres. The multiples and submultiples of kilogram are given below. Let us learn now, all order of magnitude of a quantity. If we use the standard scientific unit meter, m, 
For measuring length of an object such as diameter of sun, it will be described by a very large number 1,391,000,000 meters and conversely, the diameter of hydrogen atom is 0.0000000012 meters. Scientists have found an easy and compact way of writing such numbers which are too big or too small and are difficult to write or remember. Any number can be written as the product of a number between 1 and 10, and a number which is power of 10, the diameter of sun, 1,391,000,000 meters equals 1.391 times 10 to the 9th power meter. Here, 1.391 is the numeral part and 10 to the 9th power is the exponential part also called order of magnitude of a quantity. Similarly, the diameter of hydrogen atom, 0.0000000012 meters equals 1.2 times 10 to the negative 10th power meter. The simple way to write in this scientific notation is to move the decimal point of the original form of the number until we get the required form and then record the exponent as the number of places. The decimal point was moved. If the decimal point was moved left then it is positive and if moved right then it is negative. When appropriate, these decimal multiples and submultiples are attached to the units instead of exponential part. Some are shown in the table below. Physical quantities can be divided into categories, some of commonly used are first constant or ratio, such quantities have only magnitude without any unit. For example, refractive index, specific gravity etc. Second scalars, such quantities which can be completely described by magnitude, along with unit, alone. For example, length, time etc. Third vectors, such quantities which requires magnitude, along with unit, as well as direction for complete description. For example, force, momentum etc. Continued in part 2. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos on physics, chemistry, and mathematics, check my YouTube channel, Easy Learning. Suggestions can be mailed at ag.easylearning at gmail.com.